So what exactly is WordPress? Whether or not you're in the website business, chances are you've heard of the name. With over 43% of all websites being built with WordPress, it feels like every other site you come across is made with the platform. This video is going to be somewhat of a beginner's guide explaining all of the basics and ins and outs of WordPress. So at its core, WordPress is a content management system that's built upon PHP and MySQL. It's open source, which means everyone can use it. And it's also constantly improving, which makes it a reliable option for building your website. WordPress primarily focuses on the back end of your website, and it creates the foundation that you need to build the front end of your site. These are the two important things you need to have a functional WordPress back end on your website. The first is the WordPress core. The WordPress core consists of all the files and codes that are needed for the WordPress installation. And number two is the database. There needs to be a database supporting your website as well. Luckily, most good hosting providers come with one-click WordPress installs. During this install, they'll automatically generate a database for your website. Now, since WordPress is open source, that makes it the go-to platform for a lot of different websites. This includes bloggers, freelancers, small businesses, agencies, and so much more. Now let's cover some of the main features of WordPress. Once it's installed on your website, you'll gain access to the WordPress dashboard. This is what the dashboard looks like, and to navigate through the different parts of your website, you'll use the sidebar on the left. It also includes built-in page, post, and project custom post types. WordPress is very intuitive, and it provides you with a streamlined structure you can use for your website. Over in the pages area is where you can add new pages and manage your existing ones. This also works the same for your posts, which are particularly helpful if you run a blog or a blog area on your website and your projects as well. Grouping all of these under a particular custom post type also helps you style them. You can create templates and assign them to a specific post type. Many premium themes like Divi provide you with a theme builder that allows you to do just that. You get to style every aspect of your website and basically create your own theme. Now, since I mentioned it, let's talk about themes for a second. WordPress themes essentially allow you to give your website a custom look. There are thousands of free themes out there that you can install directly through your WordPress dashboard, and you also have the option to install a premium theme such as Divi. There are themes out there for any type of website you can imagine, and if you're looking for a great list of themes, check the blog article that's linked down in the video description below. Now, another awesome thing about WordPress is that you can install plugins. Plugins essentially allow you to add extra functionality to your website. This can include a wide range of things such as handling SEO, backing up your website, adding social media integration, and adding various different analytics. With WordPress, you can also create dynamic menus for your website. These are super beneficial for learning management systems and for membership sites that want to restrict certain levels of content. These can include things such as menu items for logging in and out of your website, e-commerce menu links, and so much more. Now, the last main feature I want to talk about is the media gallery. The media gallery is where you can add things like images, audio and video files, PDFs, and so much more. There's also a ton of different awesome plugins out there that you can use to make your WordPress media galleries even better. So that's the main functionality of WordPress, but let's talk about some of the different types of websites you can create with the platform. WordPress is super popular when it comes to creating stunning websites for your business. Those embarking on a new business venture or needing a good platform to build on will love WordPress. As mentioned previously, it's open source, so there are a ton of different plugins and themes like Divi to help you stand out from the crowd. In addition to that, it's SEO friendly and has great support and is mobile friendly as well. Because of that, Google loves it. You can use an SEO plugin like Rank Math that lets you easily add keywords, metadata, and schema to help your business rank higher in search engine ranking pages. Rank Math is super easy to use and allows anyone to optimize their content with built-in suggestions based on widely accepted best practices. WordPress is also fantastic when it comes to e-commerce sites. It is honestly the way to go to sell products on your website. Thanks to plugins like WooCommerce, you can easily add physical or virtual products. There are also plugins such as Dokin, which allow you to create a complete marketplace that enables users to create their own stories within your site. Another super popular use for WordPress is blogs. When WordPress was introduced in the early 2000s, it was primarily a blogging platform. Therefore, it's an excellent platform now for communicating your message. You can write and publish posts within minutes and easily share them on your social media platforms for greater exposure. Although there are other blogging platforms out there, such as Blogger and Medium, no other platform is as customizable as WordPress. Another use for WordPress is portfolio sites. 
Using WordPress to showcase your work is a great choice if you're a photographer, graphic designer, or web developer. Out of the box, WordPress allows you to embed videos, image galleries, and other media, so creating a portfolio website is a breeze. You can use a generic WordPress theme to feature your work, or a portfolio-specific theme such as Bridge to give the world a glimpse into your creative body of work. Learning management systems are also another place where WordPress shines. In addition to the more broad-spectrum websites, WordPress can create the most elaborate learning management systems out there. By utilizing LMS plugins such as Lifter LMS or LearnDash, you can create courses, quizzes, and lessons, and even add a paywall and sell access to your content. There are other super powerful plugins like Restrict Content Pro, which gives you robust content restriction tools and a powerful WordPress membership site, all in one easy to manage plugin. Similarly, WordPress is a great choice if you're looking to build a membership website. Though, through a membership plugin like MemberPress, you can create membership levels, assign content to those levels, and even make money. Forums are also another thing that you can use WordPress for. Forums are excellent for building an online community of like-minded individuals. Using WordPress in a forum plugin like CM Answers makes it so you can easily bring your forum to life in a few steps. CM Answers, PayPal, and Stripe integration also allow you to monetize your forum, providing a good way to earn some extra income. Those are just a few examples of different types of websites that you can use WordPress for, but why would you use WordPress over another platform? And the first reason is it's free. So yes, the base core of WordPress is free, but depending on your needs for your website and customization, different themes and plugins are gonna potentially cost you some money. Also something to think about is web hosting. There are a lot of really awesome web hosting tools out there that offer a lot of different features. SiteGround, for instance, is one of the more popular choices out there for managed WordPress hosting. With plans for every budget, stellar customer support, and abundant features at your disposal, it's definitely worth checking out. Another great hosting option out there is Cloudways, which is a managed cloud hosting provider that gives you a big bang for your buck. And also like SiteGround, Cloudways doesn't limit the number of sites you can have on your server. Another big reason a lot of people use WordPress is its easy customization. As I mentioned before, you have access to themes, plugins, different page builders, and anything you could need. Basically, if you can dream of something that you want, WordPress can probably help you make it happen. Also, it's pretty easy to learn. While it may seem daunting at first, since so many people do use WordPress out there, there is a plethora of different information out there to help you learn the platform. Just doing a simple Google search or looking on YouTube is a great way to learn how to use WordPress, and we even have a lot of different tutorials here on our page. WordPress is also extremely SEO friendly. And there are tons of amazing different SEO tools out there at your disposal. SimRush, for instance, is easily one of the most recognizable SEO tools that are out on the market today. It has created a large suite of tools to help you understand what is happening on Google. They're one of the only SEO platforms that truly gets near to being an all-in-one SEO toolkit. Another big reason to use WordPress is speed. Right out of the box, WordPress is pretty speedy. But there are also a lot of excellent plugins when it comes to optimizing your website. Plugins such as WP Rocket will make your website a speed demon. With WP Rocket, you can instantly see a great improvement in your website performance and Google PageSpeed Insight Score. Now, as you can see, WordPress is a community endeavor. There are so many different plugins, themes, and everything that you need to customize your site. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single one out there because there are thousands and thousands, but as I mentioned earlier, I'll link the blog article in the description below. It's gonna have a lot of different resources for you, including some of the best plugins, themes, and so much more to get you started on your WordPress journey. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it helped demystify WordPress for you. Before you go though, make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one.